Hello everybody, Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church, and this is the Broadman Word for April 8th, 2022. Uh, our scripture today we're going to take a look at is Matthew 6, 4, and a little bit of Matthew 6, 3. Uh, it's talk, uh, I'm titling it Giving Love, and I hope you're having a marvelous day in the world and uh, being a light for others to come to through the darkness and uh, that they might find their way to the cross just like you did. So listen, uh, Matthew 6, 4, we'll just go ahead and read it together real quick. Uh, it says, so that your giving may be in secret, then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And of course, just before that, um, Jesus is saying, but when you give to the needy, uh, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So that brings up the issue of us and just generally in our lives. Um, what we're doing now this talks about giving so we're imagining a thing or some money or uh, you know some kind of service being given to the needy um, and then you should just do it and get your reward from doing it so uh, and in that way your left hand doesn't know what your right hand is doing and then in 6-4 of course um, you're the Father can reward what's done in secret. So for us then, living our lives today, we certainly tithe, um, or we try to, uh, and then we offer on top of our tithes, uh, at least we try to, and then uh, we should receive our benefit um, for doing that from doing it. There really shouldn't be anything else necessary. Uh, but I want to talk to you about a little deeper um, meaning for 6-4 and a little bit different perspective on giving. Now the concept is that you're going to use the gifts and talents that you have um, given to you um, from God. So the vertical, right, you receive the vertical um, blessing from God for your heart, your spirit, um, the things that you have, the things that you can do, your personality, the skills that you have, it's all comes that way. And then uh, recognizing that, you're going to then use them for the benefit of others so it goes out horizontally. We did a study not too long ago called Horizontal Jesus. It was by Dr. Tony Evans. And that was the main concept. Uh, for us then, uh, making application of 6-4, uh, we should be doing things for others. We should be um, giving to others of ourselves and not necessarily in cash or material form. We should be giving to others as a matter of life, as a matter of how we conduct our life uh, in recognition that who we are, what we are, what we have, the skills that we have, and the way the experiences that we've had in life has formed us to this point to a certain uh, individual, and that individual has the capability to do for and bless others from having been blessed. But the act of it needs to be intentional it needs to be purposeful, and it needs to be sort of an ethos about us as to how we move through the world, kind of um, not with um, some blinders on, but a much more um, wide par parallel view, um, geometric view of the situation, looking for those who might be in need. And the, and the range of needs can, can be uh, immense. But then finding something in the life of another that you can do, um, a need you can fill. And then doing it, not because you think you have to, um, not because they've asked you to, although there's nothing wrong with people asking for help, not because you want some church committee to know about it or that you're filling a spot on some sort of roster. The reason, the compelling reason that you should 
uh, want to spread horizontally your blessings that you received and the gifts and skills that you have is because you understand that what you have is from God and it was given to you to be used. And so your driving motivation then is not for the left hand to know what the right hand is doing or to receive any reward for what you've given, either of your time, your skill, your treasure, or your possessions. Um, the reward is just simply having fulfilled your purpose in the kingdom. You lived out the will of God, uh, perhaps right in front of somebody who may not know the will of God just yet, and you have done what you were supposed to do. And you know that at some point, perhaps while you're still on this side of the grass, uh, uh, perhaps while you're in heaven, either way, you know that what's done in secret your father will reward. Um, you will um, not be laboring in vain. Whenever you use what you have, whether it be material, skill, empathy, words, doesn't matter, whatever you have, when you use that to benefit another, to aid the kingdom by benefiting another, uh, God notices and he will reward that behavior, uh, but it'll be done uh, because it was done in secret and because you're just living out your purpose not to show anybody anything, not to receive any sort of recognition of what you've done. The motiv motivating factor is simply an understanding that this is what you are supposed to do and fulfilling that role in the kingdom then uh, produces joy and peace inside of you. So listen, brothers and sisters, uh, we need to give everything that we have whenever we can, uh, but we don't need to draw attention to it. Try to find a place in your life, a spot um, in your heart, you know, as they say today, get your head around just being and as part of your being, including giving of what you have, uh, no matter what it might be, to others. Uh, and then in that way, uh, living out your witness, your purpose, your call, your walk um, before an appreciative God who will give you a reward at some point. Listen, I love you, and I hope you're having a marvelous day. I'll see you next time. Take care.